new this morning, a Houston rapper who's accused of holding a woman captive for years is back in jail. The allegations first surfaced last month. ABC 13's Courtney Fisher is live this morning with new documents. And Courtney, police say the woman asked to go to the hospital while in captivity. Yes, Mika, not only that, she also asked to use the bathroom. She asked for food. She asked for drugs repeatedly. All of that outlined in text messages that are in this new warrant. And this warrant says that while police were investigating this kidnapping case, they discovered a second woman had died on Lee Carter's property around the same time that he was holding that first woman hostage. The woman allegedly died in July. The paperwork doesn't go into details about how that second woman died or address whether or not Carter is involved. We do have video of Carter. This was him 52 years old in court just last month. Back to that original kidnapping case, the allegations. Police say that Carter held the 32-year-old pregnant woman hostage for years. The warrant says that she'd send him texts like, I'm dying. He responded, quote, quit with the dramatics. That's according to the warrant. Police say she was locked in a garage bedroom. The windows were boarded up with just a tube sticking out of the room for ventilation. He bonded out of jail, guys, just last month. And when he did, the judge gave strict orders that he should have no contact with this pregnant 32-year-old victim. But he did have contact with her, the warrant stated. So now he is back in jail. He is due in court in two weeks. For now, reporting live downtown, Courtney Fisher, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. Thank you so much, Courtney.